I review a lot of products and it's very rare to ever get a product in where you think could absolutely change the industry. And yet that is exactly what I think this Valerian Vision Master can do. Now you may not be familiar with the Valerian name and that's because it is a new brand that is coming out via Kickstarter. And although it is a new brand, you probably have heard of their sister brand, AWOL Vision. AWOL Vision is of course one of the leaders and arguably one of the best ultra short throw projector companies in the world. Now Valerian is the sister brand to AWOL Vision and they're going to be specializing in long throw projectors. Now they have four different projectors coming out on Kickstarter with a wide range of prices. Now all of these prices shown are assuming that you're gonna do the $50 refundable deposit, which takes an extra $200 off the early bird Kickstarter price point. Let's go ahead and do a quick breakdown of the four different projectors. If you take a look at the Plus and the Plus 2, they look very similar with the Plus 2 being a little bit brighter. One thing to note is that these both do have a fixed focal lens. What that means is that if you don't place this perfectly on the screen, you're going to have to use a digital zoom to zoom in to fit it correctly. And by doing that, you can degrade the picture quality. If you were to move up to the Pro 2 or the Max, both of these have an optical zoom and that optical zoom does allow for greater placement flexibility without degrading the picture. On top of that, both the Pro 2 and the Max increase the lumen output so that they're brighter and they have greater contrast ratio. Native contrast ratio jumps from 3000 to 1 to 4000 to 1 and your dynamic jumps from 10,000 to 1 to 15,000 to 1. All these projectors have some pretty amazing claims on it, but I want to especially point out the Max for a second because the Max is the first lifestyle projector that's going to have a professional lens system on it. It's going to have optical zoom, it's going to have a dynamic iris, and it's even going to have vertical lens shift. These are things that you just don't expect in a projector at this price point. Now I was able to get the plus two in for review and the plus two has some pretty amazing claims as well. First, they claim that it will be a 2000 lumen output and that this triple laser projector will actually produce 110% of Rec 2020 with a native contrast ratio of 3000 to one. Now, if that is true, that means that it would have more colors and better native contrast than the infamous Epson 5050 UB. On top of that, they do also claim a 10,000 to one dynamic contrast ratio when you use their enhanced black level setting. Now those are some pretty amazing bold claims, especially for a projector that you can get for $1,300 on Kickstarter. So of course I had to go ahead and do some testing. So I took out my light meter and I did some basic testing on the lumen output first. And I was actually able to get 2,100 lumens, which was a little bit better than the 2,000 that they claimed. For the native contrast ratio, I tested that. And for the native contrast ratio, I actually got 3100, which once again was just a little bit better than the 3000 to one that they claimed. And finally, I turned the EBL on and tested the dynamic contrast ratio and that I was able to get 11,500 to one. And before anyone thinks that there might be some errors in my measurements, projector junkies also got one of these and we're getting very similar numbers. Although he actually got a little bit better dynamic contrast than me of 12,000 to one. Make sure to check out his blog. He'll have a written review of this projector as well. Honestly, these numbers just don't seem like they would be available at this price point. And this is what is blowing my mind. When I turn this on, it is very apparent that this is better than the other lifestyle projectors I've reviewed. And it's not even close. So I wanted to throw some scenes on there to see exactly how well it would do. And I especially wanted to check darker scenes because this is where all of these lifestyle projectors have really struggled with. This one doesn't. Now, one of the things I really like about Valerian is they have thought about the menu system and setting adjustments that you might actually use and be useful for you, such as dynamic tone mapping. You do have dynamic tone mapping standard on this projector, which you can turn on. Now, what that does is it takes an HDR signal and tone maps it to the capabilities of that projector. And this makes a huge difference and usually isn't available on a projector until you go very high end, something like a JVC. On top of that, I'm a big fan of getting as much shadow detail as I possibly can out of a projector. This does a really good job with it by giving you a setting that you can turn on called dark detail. As you can see on this scene, it allows you to see the shadows a lot better. And for me, that's something that I really appreciate. Now I did take a gamma reading as well. Now I changed my gamma to 2.4, which is more of a home theater gamma versus the 2.2, which you would typically see on a lifestyle projector. 
and it's 2.4 all the way across the board until we get to about 5%, which it just drops to around 2.2. This is extremely impressive, especially thinking that it came out of the box like this. Now, if you wanted to adjust your gamma, you can. They have a bunch of calibration settings, which can adjust your color, your gamma, etc. Now, oftentimes I will do that. In this particular case, I didn't actually mess with any of those settings, and there's a reason why. When I took this out of the box, the color was just really good. I really enjoyed what it looked like. And the amount of colors, along with that dark detail, make this projector unlike anything else I've ever seen in this price point. So for example, if we take a look at this scene in Sonic, we can see all of the details inside Dr. Robotnik's jacket. We can see that it's not all just one shade of red, which is what happens a lot of times on these cheaper projectors that oversaturate and don't have the intracolor contrast like this particular projector has. On top of that, even on scenes in the battle scene at the end in Sonic, you could see all the great dark details in the dark scenes without it washing out the picture. Now, I also want to check out SDR content as right now I've only been really looking at HDR content. And the SDR content like this in Cars is once again really amazing. I demo this scene every time I have a projector and this is by far the best this has ever looked. And once again, giving us that intracolor contrast that we really desire. If we continue to look at more scenes, you could take a look at these nature scenes and these nature scenes were unbelievable with all the colors and the accuracy of what this looks like it makes you feel like you're right there in nature with these animals it literally makes you feel like you're transported into the landscape with them if you were to ask me five years ago if i ever thought a 1300 projector could look like this i would have told you no. Now, if you were to ask me even last year, if I thought that I would get a projector in at around $1,300 price range that could have a picture quality this good, I would say no, not going to be possible. Now, this isn't the only thing. Even though the picture is polished, the whole machine is. If we take a look at even the remote control, the remote control is a very nice remote control. It's not those cheap and cheesy remote controls that we're used to. Now it starts out as an IR remote control, but once you pair it, it does turn into a Bluetooth remote control for the projector. Now this is a Google OS, so because of that, you could download apps like uh, Netflix and Voodoo and all of your favorite apps if you want to. But that operating system can sometimes be clunky and slow. That's not the case with this at all. Now, Valerion did go with a much faster chip than what they would usually do, and it actually is AI capable, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But Valerian was smart because they know that the Google OS can be somewhat complex. Even just changing inputs can be multiple button presses. So on the remote control, they actually do have an input button. They do have a menu button that can get you to quick menu settings to be able to make adjustments. They even have this AI button. Now, when you press the AI button, you get a couple setting adjustments such as AI scene, dark detail, and super resolution. And what these do is they will automatically adjust the picture on the fly using artificial intelligence to give you the best possible picture. Once again, something you would never expect any projector in this price point. This is an IMAX enhanced projector. So if you go on to something like Disney Plus, a lot of people don't realize this. If you click on a movie, they actually have two different movies you can choose from. They can choose from the regular one or the IMAX enhanced. And if you have IMAX enhanced equipment, you can watch the IMAX enhanced version, which fills up almost your entire screen, which in my opinion is the way that you want to watch all your movies. It is amazing. Now on top of that, they do also have a setting inside here in the HDR settings where you can actually turn on your IMAX enhanced setting, which will match the video quality that the producers have wanted as well. It is Dolby Vision compatible as well, so you can watch your Dolby Vision videos on this now, when watching a movie, some people are concerned about the motion handling. Does it tear? Does it have judder? And that can be a problem. But this Valerian does support 24 and 48 frames per second. And because of that, I didn't see any tearing or judder on any of the fast moving scenes. In fact, I played this clip for my wife, Godzilla vs. Kong. And when we were watching it, my wife said, this is the best this movie has ever looked. Now, the last thing I really want to talk about is gaming, because a lot of people are going to want to game on this. This does do 4K at 60 hertz and 1080p at 240 hertz. Now, the input lag latency is 4 milliseconds at 1080p at 240 hertz, 8 milliseconds at 1080p 120, and 15 milliseconds 
at 4K60. Now I did do some gaming on this and I had a lot of fun gaming. I did this mainly on the Xbox and I didn't notice any input lag that put me at any type of disadvantage. I really enjoyed it. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a way to test the input lag. What I can say for sure is playing on this 110 inch screen is just a lot of fun, especially with those deeper, darker blacks. It just makes the games more enjoyable and more lifelike. Some of the other gaming options they have, they actually have a game bar that you can easily select from the main menu system. You can add things like a cursor in the middle, and of course you can turn things on like ALLM. This Valerian Plus 2 projector has absolutely blown away all of my expectations, and I am extremely impressed with it. In fact, I cannot wait to see more about the Pro 2 and the Max as they come out, because that should be an even bigger upgrade. If you have been looking for a home theater projector or a lifestyle projector, and you want the best picture quality for the best price, I don't know one that's better than this. I have tested a lot of projectors and none of them have come close to the quality that you can get out of this for the price that you're going to pay. You would have to pay significantly more to be able to get the type of quality that this has. So with that in mind, if it's something that you're thinking about doing, check the link in the description and decide whether you want to do that $50 pre-order or not. And also feel free to join their Facebook group. All right, guys, this is Toyd's DIY Audio and I'm out.